The epidemic of mass shootings in the US shows no signs of slowing down. This year alone, United States has witnessed over 160 mass shootings. The latest coming in from Texas, where the gunman shot five people from his front yard. Why? Because of a noise complaint. What's the solution here? What do the voters say about gun laws? Let's find out. A news poll shows us the following results. One, voters prefer focusing on specific gun control measures. Two, most voters don't want to arm citizens with guns for safety now. What are these specific gun control measures? These measures include criminal background check on all gun buyers, raising legal age to purchase guns to 21, improving existing gun laws, mental health checkups for all gun buyers, 30-day waiting period for gun purchase. More than half of the US citizens are in favor of banning assault rifles and semi-automatic weapons altogether. Recently, Washington became the 10th US state to put a general ban on assault weapon sales. Now, this brings us to our next question. Do Democrats and Republicans see eye to eye on gun control laws? While both the parties agree on specific measures, there is a deep divide on banning of assault weapons. On one hand, 84% of Democrats are in favor of banning assault weapons, compared to 36% of Republicans. And on the other hand, 61% of Republicans support citizens carrying guns, compared to just 27% of Democrats saying the same. So does the United States need stricter gun control laws? Well, the results show that 43% feel passing stricter gun control laws will make the country safer. A quarter feel that it will be most unsafe for citizens. And one third think that it will not make any difference whatsoever. With series of mass shootings that US has witnessed this spring itself, half of the voters are scared that either them or their kin will be a victim of gun violence. There's a clear enough trend that US citizens prefer limiting guns over arming civilians to reduce gun violence.